Hey everyone, Solgrus here today to play the labs. You can see we have six different constructed lists to pick from. Earlier I was playing the ephemeral list and it was pretty much a breeze. I heard that it got nerfed and they said on Twitter that they were hot fixing it, but I want to see how good it is and if it's still the best deck to get the wins on the gaunt or the lab with, not the gauntlet. <laughs> it's Darker Paladin 16. Yeah, I'm really interested to see. Well, there's less ephemerals in this opening hand, but this is still looking pretty okay. Did they nerf it by adding Ren Shadow Blade? <laughs> That's kind of funny if they did, because it, it seems like they did nerf it that way. <laughs> I don't remember it being- like, I played the deck twice before, so I don't know how, you know, I probably missed some of the cards, but that definitely seems like one of them. The one mana 4-3 is pretty nuts. The reason why the ephemerals were so good before is... Oh, I'm gonna go go with these. The reason they were so good before is because they always die, so you can always control where they're going to be going. So you always could control the fact that they're dying. Is And no matter how big they got, you could make sure that they would die. And that was the important part of them before. So we're gonna play double shark next turn. And these guys are gonna get big, which kind of sucks. I don't really want those guys to get that big. Maybe I'll hit Dark Water Scourge. Yeah. Hit Dark Water Scourge, please. Red Shadow Blade is kind of funny, though, if it gets extra stats on it. Pretty sweet, actually. So we have the Iron Harpinger, which gives Ephemeral. Which, actually, you know, that's pretty sweet because, like, Say if we get something really big, we can make sure that it dies, so keeping these in hand is good. Except for if they both get buffed, it's a little bit awkward. Could be a bit awkward. So this is going to create it. Definitely worth taking the attacks here though. Two Soul Shepherds is pretty nasty. Yeah, in case you're wondering about the thumbnail too, that was from one of my games earlier. I don't know exactly what this one's going to look like. Hey, I hit one ephemeral. Rain Shadow Blade isn't the worst thing to hit. I mean, I want it to die here anyway. Oh, no, these guys are still in here. I really wonder what they took out. I mean, I'm fine with these blocking each other. I'll probably play this next. Probably. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Huh. They didn't want to give this free stats, I guess. Oh, I know why. <laughs> but yeah. Wait, does it say? It's unavailable because the cards have random effects because they randomly go to hand. Okay, that makes sense. And... Alright, I just gotta start hitting something big, like, um, so I need to find keywords. Elusive or Overwhelm. So the two keywords I'm looking for. Hmm. There. Elusive or Overwhelm, the two rules. Yes. Dark Water Scourge. Can hit whatever I want it to hit. Yikes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so many sharks. <laughs> Sure. No! Life is ruined. You know what? It's okay. It's fine. I'm not that upset. It's pretty upsetting, honestly. <laughs> I guess it saves it from later, though. I wait. Thank you! Okay, Hecarom is our shiny pony in heroic armor or something like that. Because we're going to use this to sacrifice this. So we have to wait like two turns until we can play him. 
That sucks a bit. Harrowing? I want harrowing. So we want to kill that one if possible. Okay, so we kill this one. And we just block the highest after that. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Yes. <laughs> Hello? I no, wish I had more ways to kill stuff. I wanna attack with this next turn. It's definitely worth it. Same. Man, having two of these is so disgusting. Where are you at? Five out of seven? dropping that I was gonna put it on hacker room but the elusive so much better <laughs> well this isn't the best thing to put it on because that can be blocked that's why you put it on the elusives <laughs> Okay, so here's the goal. Nope. This. 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 We want these before the other things. <laughs> yeah. These get more stats this way. Wait. Attacker at me plus one o for the oh for some reason I, I I was thinking this was stirred spirits whoops that's fine though I'm very fine with the stuff dying <laughs> I don't know can they even stop it because like they have to block this like I need these to die anyway yeah I was thinking these were stirred spirits for some reason thought they were the ones that gave ephemeral but doesn't matter <laughs> no. Accept your fate. Yeah. Gotta move that there. They're still dead. I wanted to make a giant sha silent shadow. I did another game. And it's the, like I said, that's the thumbnail. <laughs> okay. 30. They're a little bit dead. Steel Tempest? They're still. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Still a bit dead. Oh. I think the ephemeral deck is still pretty good. I don't- I hadn't played Steel Tempest in it before. I wonder if they took out, like, uh, the Kinko Lifeblade, maybe? Cause the elusive was pretty disgusting. I'll go ahead and play a different one. I do think this is the best one. If you're just looking for wins, I do think this is the best one for sure. I want to go ahead, I think, and play Scar Tissue. I mean, Ionia has the other elusives and stuff. We'll play Scar Tissue, because Vlad is cool. I like Vlad. I wonder what the one condition this is. It's like everything else has elusives. So it's like, yeah, just put it on the elusives. I guess there's Overwhelm. Ooh, she only does one now. Vladimir doesn't have a keyword. I need things with keywords. I need Scar Mother in hand so I can just buff her up. That's all I really care about. Let's just buff up the Scar Mother. From is it gonna do it either? Like a little buff on him is fine, but I don't want the big buff on him. Only little buff. You know what? Might as well attack with it. Sure. 
sure. <laughs> Makes so much sense, right? Okay. Oh, it has fearsome. Dang it. There's no blocking that. Say okay. Can I get one attack on my Brom? No! Wrong way! <laughs> you must be Vladimir. That's a board for Vladimir. That makes a board quite, like, substantially better. Cool. It's only one damage crimson, so it feels so strange, but it feels right at the same time. But it feels really strange. Like looking at this card, this is what you would, this is what you would expect it to read instead of what it read before. For a two mana card. But yeah, this is now the eye doesn't work. <laughs> I wonder if they're buffing. And should I be scared of it? So. They must be buffing something big! Aw, not my Vladdy. He didn't deserve this. Man, he's almost leveled after that. Almost. 14. Oh my gosh! Stop going on the Ice Veil Archer! No! <laughs> How did I lose a 50% roll that many times? <laughs> How did I do that? <laughs> Minus 50% Keck W. Oh, they're doing nothing else this turn, so... Kill a damage unit. I want this to not strike. If it's a fight they want. <laughs> oh. Can I say can I say five head to that? I actually want them to play something kind of big. I get it. You got something bigger in your hand now. I just sure hope it's not an elusive hot dang. Okay. Flash race makes it better. Yeah, I don't want this to get a thing. <laughs> I have flash freeze. I have flash freeze. I can kill it. No, it's 21 health. Never mind. I can't kill it. Uh huh. Oh god. Go by the power of Omenhawk. By the power of Omenhawk, I shall shine! I wish I had a creature in my hand. So those are like all ephemerals. Stand behind Save that for later. Okay. That's not a 12. I think I'm okay with this. I mean, this isn't an elusive, thankfully. <laughs> Very thankful for that. Wait, the fact that I was open for both of us, wasn't it? That means both of us have no creatures then. I'm pretty sure that's what just happened.
Okay, so they buff it up, then we just play our stuff. Alright. It's pretty funny though. This gives them a creature, unfortunately. But. Oh. Had to be done. No, I'll wait on that. I kind of want to put it on this and try to find the Crimson Awakener so I can get another Poro from Braum. Ooh, this can kill this. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I mean, this doesn't die. It's a tough decision. Cause then I can play Brahms Take Heart. Kind of odd. <laughs> oh, jeez, though. against them? We're gonna beat the OP deck? It's cause I put it on this. Eh. Eh. Let's wait. <laughs> sure. Let's do it. Pack mentality. That makes my Braum do a lot here. That's pretty important. Before Braum was going to pro- actually, yeah, yeah, Braum was going to be against this. Harrowing. Dang it. save this I think I think I want to save it if they buff this then I can freeze it I mean like going putting killing the stats is very tempting but with all these things dying the stats for that are going to be nuts too no. so is it really that good oh no math 17 17 Definitely not enough. We get more things though. Alright. Just safer to get rid of these stats later, I think. Just because of all these things dying. Can you see it? That'd be kinda funny if you could. I don't think I need to use these yet. These are all dying. I wonder if they have- they have to have something in hand if they played this or else it's just like very poopy <laughs> for them not to. If they don't have something in their hand, they've lost the game essentially. Makes you wonder though. Cool. <laughs> okay. This is why you have to have, like, the things with keywords. Like that. Oh. They probably think they're winning here. I mean, 
mean, as long as I have enough for Flash Freeze, it's all that matters, right? See, this is why we waited on the Flash Freeze. See? Wait, that's dying. She's the poor rogue killer. I'm sorry. It's like they can't have anything in hand that kills me with that. Unfortunately, all the stats. But I'll be able to just open attack. Lone figure stats. And we should be good. It feels really nice. Right? Death mark! Oh no! Oh no. This just became- <laughs> oh, whoa. oh wait, I have Braum in hand too. Okay, first we'll do this, see if they can see. <laughs> I have Braum too. It was still scary, but it doesn't really matter much. It doesn't matter. Yep, we had two counters. All good. <laughs> That then was really scary for a second. I was like, wait, that take heart I've been holding in hand for ages was Braum, and then on top of that had a good top deck. It's a good reason not to play it. <laughs> well, those were a lot of fun, making the really big creatures and stuff. I hope you enjoyed the labs. They're a lot of fun. It's a different way to play the game. And I will see you for next video tomorrow. That's how we do things in Bilgewater.